Hi, in this video we'll learn how to add mixed fractions with like denominators and I'll show you two different ways to do it. So the first way is we're going to separate the whole part and the fractional part. So the mixed fraction is made up of whole part and the fractional part, right? So I'm going to separate these two things. So I'm going to write 4, this can be written as 4 plus 2 fifths because 4 is the whole part and 2 fifths is the fractional part and I've separated it. Now I'm going to put the plus sign in between and then I'm going to separate this. So this can be written as 1 plus 3 fifths. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the whole part. So I'm going to put them together. 4 plus 1 and then I'm going to combine the fractional part. So I'm going to put 2 fifths and 3 fifths together. Now we can combine the whole parts 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is going to give me 5 and then you see that I have same denominators. Whenever you have like denominators you can go ahead and add the fractions. So we're going to add this fractions. So 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5. Remember that when we have same denominators we can just go ahead and add the numerators, right? So I'm going to add 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5, right? And then we don't add the denominators, right? So the denominator is still going to stay 5. Now what is 5 divided by 5? 5 divided by 5 can be written as 1, right? So I'm going to put it like this, 5 plus in place of 5 divided by 5, I'm going to put 1 here, and 5 plus 1 is going to give me 6. So my final answer is going to be 6. Now I'm going to show you a different way to solve, to add this mixed fractions. This is called the stacked form, in which like I'm going to put 4 and 2 fifths, and then I'm going to put 1 and 3 fifths and we're going to add these mixed fractions just like we add the numbers, right? So think about this. 4 plus 1 is going to give me 5, so I can put 5 here. Now how about 2 fifths and 3 fifths? If, if you have the same denominators, you don't have to worry about it. You can just go ahead and add the numerators, right? So what is 2 plus 3? Well, 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5. So I'm going to put 5 in the numerator, and then we don't add the denominators. Remember, you don't add the denominators, so we're going to put 5 in the denominator. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, so I'm going to write this as 5, and then this, since this is 1, this is going to add up to the whole number, right? So 5 plus 1 is going to give me 6, and that's going to be my final answer. So these are two different ways to add the mixed fractions, and I hope you feel comfortable in adding mixed numbers now. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.